third graders, I need you to go look for your addition math crossword that came home on deliveries not too long ago. And we are gonna be doing a review of our four digit plus four digit addition, which I think most of you are pretty good at by now. Um, and then we are going to put, be putting our answers up in the puzzle. So we wanna pay attention to some clues go across and some clues go down. So we're gonna do one together on each side and show you how to put them in the puzzle. So let's look at number one. If this is plus, all of these are plus. So five plus three is eight, six plus nine is, count up if you need to, 15. So I put my one up here and my five down here. And then three plus two plus one. Well, I know that three plus two is five, plus one more is six. And then one plus one is two. And then because there's four digits, I need to put my comma in there. So in order to put that in the puzzle, I need to look at number one and I need to go across. So I'm gonna look up, I see number one. And I'm gonna write my answer, 26. 58, you do not have to do commas up in the squares. I'm fine with that. And let's do one on the downside. So let's go over to number two, down. Six plus three in the ones, nine. Three plus four, seven. Seven plus seven. 14, I have to carry my one, put my four down, and two plus two plus one is five. So 5,479. So now I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna find number two, which is right here. And if you ever go up and you try to put your number in and it's not working because there's already other numbers there, you're gonna wanna check your addition to see if you don't have it correct. For instance, like if I was doing number six across and I got a number that didn't start with nine, then I would want to go back and check because something might be wrong with my addition. So just be careful with that. That's the main thing with the crosswords. So other than that, just pay attention to your across and down and then only carry your numbers on the addition when you need to. Have fun, guys.